five, four, three, two, one. All right. Back from suspension. As good as it gets podcast. I'm oh, yeah. Justin. I'm well, you got to wait till he lowers the I'm, volume a I'm, little bit. I'm excited. Let's get going. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute, man. I haven't seen you guys in like three months. It feels that way. So welcome back to the show, folks, uh, where we talk about only good things or interesting. Well, it's that wraps the show up. Sometimes not interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm your host, Barry Wood. I'm rabid. I'm Nick. I'm Justin. I'm <laughs> fellatio. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Well, welcome back to the show. And uh, we're gonna we decided to change it up and go with one of my ideas and uh, just have somebody sort of lead the show. <laughs> So well, we um, have a leader now, Allie. Like Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, I know. You're Got a, a raise for this too. Yeah. Oh no. Perfect. All right. So take it away, Allie. Oh, I was kidding. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't get my raise anyways. So. Yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Don't, don't, don't cash <laughs> it's that It's the check. same as a regular <laughs> paycheck. Wait till, wait till next week to cash. I mean, we check. know it's only $5 <laughs> check, but don't. Don't cash it. So we weren't actually suspended. We actually unionized. Incarcerated. Against our own show, and we're trying to negotiate higher salaries. Yeah, I know, and we all thought it was a great idea. We nearly went out of business. <laughs> Are they pulling that shit at your work again? No, they're they're not. Oh. They know better. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, they can't be. I think you guys, well, I don't know. Maybe it's changed, but you got a decent CEO and yeah. I left. When you're paying me $35,000 a year, hello, Damn. I'm not going to go to a union. Make there goes the lot. budget. Yeah. Now we know who's making the big um, bucks. No, uh, what about your CEO? We're not going to mention the company, folks. We're just, what is, is he, is he all right? Chick-fil-A. He was all right when I left. I think he's retired. He retired and oh, he's still he? with the company. Yeah, but the other guy's good. I mean, So he's on the board? Yeah. They're making do. They're making their money. <laughs> well, <Right>? yeah. <laughs> That's well, why they're I, they're in the right industry by today's standards. Yeah. So you know. When That's you, why we we work hard so they can get that big bonus. When you got the government That's subsidizing right. you and you're still charging plenty of the same price you were charging, and uh, yeah. So well, what's happened in the past uh, eight months? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> Mike became a liberal based on his last statements. <laughs> well. Okay, is the government not subsidizing that industry? Yes, they are. Okay. Thank you very much. Maybe what about gas and oil? Soon. Yeah, well, we could we could take care of that. All we need to do is start drilling. So, but no, we can't. How's the uh, hunting? Hunt, hunting. So hunting, it, normally this time of year, the time of year I went, which was a week before Thanksgiving, is it, it, it's quite cold. It was not cold like elk are not going to walk around in 50 degree weather it's just not going to happen the only elk i saw was uh we were heading over to another area that's about 45 minutes away and there's a herd of elk just probably 150 yards off the road maybe like 30 of them just walking across this land it's like oh they're on private land can't do nothing about it mm. what about the milfs are they out there no milfs. No milf hunting? No, no milf hunting. What are you allowed to hunt on Fort Carson? Because there's a guy at work that deer. did his just deer. Well, there's no elk over there. Oh, there was a herd of elk. They had pictures of them. I don't know. <laughs> there was like probably 30 to 50. I don't know. I mean, there might be there might be something with the base where you, you can You want to go right now? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let me get my rifle first. No. Your musket. I mean, sorry, bow and arrow. I don't own any guns. I hate guns. Um, is that semi-automatic or an automatic bow? Yeah, semi-auto. Assault bow? Yeah, it's as fast as you can load them and shoot them. It's fully semi-automatic. Mm, so, yeah. You got one of those sacks on full. the back that hold 27 rounds? I think that's a... Uh, full auto. Full auto bow? Oh, the the uh, the 30 magazine clip I carry yeah. on my back? Yeah. With, yeah, that you pull from? Yeah, absolutely. Full. Can you shoot full semi-auto? Yeah, yeah. As fast as you can load them and shoot them. Damn. 
<laughs> they should ban those. Yeah. They need to ban those. Uh, yeah, I know. They need to get rid of them. And what you need to get, uh, what I need to get is a, is a good shotgun, double barrel shotgun. So Those are safe. I mean, if the president says that's the best gun, it's got to be the best They're gun. They're safe. So... Um, I mean, you shoot someone with an assault bow, their head blows up. I think you have to get one of the barrels plugged up now is the law. You can't have two barrels anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to stuff some stuff inside of one of the barrels to make it legal. What was the, who's the setter that sat there and they're like, well, people use it to hunt. People talking about the AR-15. They use it to hunt and then, or they'll use it for like varmint control, especially when you're talking in the South with hogs and stuff. And then she's just like, you hunt with that? You're telling me you're actually going to eat an animal that you shoot with one of those? It's like, what difference is? Do that you mean? do you know how powerful a hunting rifle is compared yeah. to an AR-15? Do you know how powerful that round is? So, she probably thought you were filling it with lead, and you were never going to be able to eat it because it was just it evaporates. Well, yeah, because it completely. <laughs> you thought you were just like. I'm sure that's what she was thinking. That's why. Yeah, yeah, that's it. These people should not be able to legislate laws against anything. Eating meat and losing teeth from all the bullets, all the or how pistol braces make a gun fully automatic. Yeah, that's a good one too. They don't. <laughs> I know, but our senators on Capitol Hill somehow think they do. So give me a freaking break. Anyway, uh, so no, the format of the show now is that we're going to cover different. Um, you guys want to keep talking about our week, or you want? I mean, because it's been a minute since we've been here. Before we jump into articles. Allie, how's school going? Um, I mean, I'm taking a gap year, but I'm working right now. So. <laughs> you know what they say about Man, gap years? We've been gone that long that she graduated. <laughs> Holy yeah. cow! She's going for her, her uh, PhD. You know, you know what they say about gap years. <laughs> now you can't get your freshman thirty. So you know. <laughs> okay. The uh, you know, with the thirty dudes, you get your freshman year. Oh, God. I'm going back to school. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're going to be a freshman every yes. year from here on out? If I don't get enough credits, hell yeah. <laughs> no, uh, um, so gap year and then you're working, mm -hmm. making lots of money? Yeah. All right. Rolling in the dough. That's what I like. True entrepreneur spirit. <laughs> um, And then uh, what else was I going to ask you? Oh, shit. I'll slip my mind. I'll have to come back. You guys to want you. to start over? No. Oh. It'll come back. It'll come back. It'll, it'll. I forgot your brother-in-law's name already, and I still hate him, but I can't remember his Isn't name. Isn't it Greg? Greg did come oh, for yeah, a visit. Oh, yeah, Greg. That's right. Greg came for a visit. Did you guys make a podcast together? He said you were a punk bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he says, tell him. He could have came by the house and these said words, that shit. Mike, tell, him, tell him these words, Mike. He's a punk bitch. Fight me. I don't know what that I'm, I'm here. I showed up. Where the fuck you at? <laughs> <laughs> No, he didn't call you a punk bitch. Just a bitch. He can. Yeah. <laughs> he can. Anyway, uh, we'll move on to the next. Nick, how you doing? How's the family doing? All good. How's uh gearing up for Christmas? Yeah. Getting ready. Yeah, absolutely. How's the sports cards on the ranch? It's non existent. What happened? I'm too lazy. <laughs> But he's too broke to buy more cards because uh, he's got a fun Santa Claus. His wife sees him having a good time doing it. It's like, Nick! <laughs> yeah. Nick! <laughs> Are you smiling? <laughs> One thing she won't say is, come discipline these kids because she'll just do it herself. Yeah. Is she really? Yeah. She oh, put them yeah, in some dude. kind of camp? Or what does she do with them? Dude, have you ever been to Nick's house? No, I'm not invited. Dude, those over there. kids don't get away I'm with shit. I'm not invited. I mean, they maybe they get away with shit behind the scenes, but yeah. Mel will lay down the law just as much as Nick does. It's like Stalock 13 over there. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's like that. Like, okay. Hogan. <laughs> They're all walking in. Clinger, you know. step roll, clinger. <laughs> walking in step. <laughs> yeah, he calls attention. They all pop to attention. <laughs> Parade rest. Okay, I got something to say. My dad used to do that. Uh -huh. He would yell report, and then we all would go up there, and with our salute, he made us all do uh -huh. that. And then he'd be like, parade rest. And then he would tell us what he needed to tell us. He'd be like, all right, dismissed. <laughs> Did that shit all the time. That's funny. Well, that's how he talked to all of us. So 
Yeah. My dad would just bust out the samurai sword and start swinging away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't do your chore. No hiding either. It's like he samurai had deli skills. every day. Yeah. Yeah, ninja oh, no, no, skills. No. You go to lay down in bed, and he's just on your ceiling like this. He's, 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 he's my, watching. He's actually my blanket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, take a shower. <laughs> uh, shit. All, all right, on to the next. Justin, how's how's life been treating you? You really want to ask that question? Yeah, go ahead. Lay it out for us. Oh, my God. Good, bad, or indifferent. Nah, I'm not going to get too much in detail. Just been uh, trying to deal with some of the stuff with my dad. He's uh, not yeah. doing too well, so. Yeah. I spent half the day today at the bank trying to get power of attorney stuff going and f- paperwork filled out. And, wow, I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. Mm-hmm. Is he is he terminal? or like, Is there? No, it's. Not uh, the terminal? Uh, depends on your perspective. It, worse, probably. He's quadriplegic at this point. He fell and broke his neck, oh, so. Really? Oh, yeah. Fuck. fuck. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah. Th- thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, Mike. thanks, Mike. So now, oh man. There, okay, all right, folks. Thank you for watching. Yeah, <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Sorry, we didn't get to any articles. Oh. So like and subscribe. And- <laughs> you know what the sad part is? He he can't even turn this podcast off right now. <laughs> So you hired someone to go turn it on every time, every time we release a new one. It just comes on, and then he now he's pissed. Now he can't turn it off. <laughs> he just turn it on and leave, and he's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. I know. I'm sorry, Dad. No, that's it's just fucked up. He, that happened. So yeah. did that just happen? Is that what you were? Uh, yeah, November. Middle of know. November, so I'm probably going to go out in the first of the year so again. You're traveling back for a few forth weeks between yeah. South uh, South Carolina and here. Dakota. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I didn't want to say so. South Texas in here. <laughs> <laughs> they won't come to South Dakota. Yeah, no one. So won't. has work been pretty good about that though? I mean, uh, I mean, I took two weeks. The, the I took two to weeks, and uh, you know, I didn't vote for that uh, new family act that's kicking in on the first to get paid for my leave, but. You're I'm gonna be it. using it since yeah. it's there. So good. Um, yeah, dude. If it's there, use yeah. it. You sound like someone who needs it. So, um, but what? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Being in a management role too yourself, that you know, we didn't even miss them. They didn't. Work. I didn't even know he was gone. <laughs> well, no, that's a sign of a good manager because if he's micromanaging, that means he doesn't have enough shit to do. Yeah. Usually, so. though, when you leave for a week or two, you come back and there was all this drama. I know, but, dude, for you guys work had some of the best drama sometimes. There was this one guy that was just, like, banging every chick there <laughs> one time. I mean, this was a few oh, years really? ago. Yeah, and then they're like there were these two girls that he was doing. And they were like best friends, but they didn't. They both thought they had the best boyfriend. Uh-huh, I in the heard world. about that guy. Turned out to be the same dude. And he used to travel. <laughs> he used to travel around at night with a guy that he called the Fluffer. Yeah. And he, oh man, they were like the tandem, like this. They got along like this, like best friends. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. He he didn't pay that guy a lot of money though, to be the Fluffer. He but, lo- he loved that job though. But yeah, he loved the job. It was really a work from the heart. So. Um, <laughs> I miss night shift. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh yeah, it's dude. Good times, dude. There, there's a lot of good memories yeah. on night shift. Yeah. What was that guy's name again? <laughs> I forgot it. What was it? Um, I don't know. Starts with, rhymes with. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to go there. <sighs> he was a pretty cool dude, though. Yeah. I mean, no, everybody looked past the fact that he was, you know, like just did, fluffing out of the generosity and kindness of his own heart so i mean and he liked to do it too but you know whatever <laughs> did she oh uh, <laughs> uh al what's going on buddy talk to us same old shit uh had a lot of shit around the house i had to fix yeah how many times do you have to fix your garage door in this <laughs> still, little hiatus still twice. trying to get that light to stay upright <laughs> only twice in like eight weeks that's pretty uh, good shit you're really toning down. I, I was trying to get the cars running a little better, and in the, in the middle of it, uh, shit happened in the bathrooms and shit like that. And I, I, okay. st- I still got to dress. Some, the main bathroom, the main bath is not usable right now. Right now but homeowner, what the hell did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> what, what you need to do is you? do what I do and just move into your mom's house, 
Then you don't have to worry it. about shit. Yeah. Thinking about it. But, I mean, I, I could have got all this shit done in one day, but that's... I'm busy. I'm busy with other shit. Right? Like, oh, that like, procrastination. That's a Right, motherfucker. Ali? Like, sleeping. Yeah, no, that's video important. Video games. Drinking. Yeah, football. Drinking. drinking <laughs> sobering up. Nah, that never happened. Just the drinking. <laughs> um... If I were you, I would just drywall that bathroom in and forget it's, <laughs> forget it's even there. No, it's clogged. The, the tub's clogged, but the sink was clogged, too. So the, it, it was one of those, all right, I, I just got to fucking snake the, the sink. Done. I snaked the sink, and uh, it when I tested it out, it was, I mean, the, 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 the clog was gone. But that it's so old that it was leaking where the, the fucking uh, the plunger goes into the 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 main uh oh, <laughs> i thought the clog was keeping it from leaking and then <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably <laughs> that layer of fucking hair all oh, that hair that you lost <laughs> into yeah. the sink yeah. no but we're we're uh you know we're we're the the fucking uh plunger thing yeah the, the, the stop goes into the the main drain it is leaking there so i had to re- go back i mean I, I already came back from home depot i didn't want to go back there so that was the, like the next day plan and all that so yeah, that's a yeah. To, yeah it's it, every it home does. improvement job though. There's like ten trips involved going yeah, yeah, to the yeah. store and, and all that shit. It's, it's like one of those. And then, so we're using the shower in the main bedroom, the master bedroom. Can't call it. That. And then now the fucking the shower hose is uh, <laughs> leaking on that thing. So I got to I, I I got a new shower hose, but I got. I freaking replace hate that thing. plumbing problems. They're a pain yeah. in the ass. I, I hate drainage problems. Yeah. In, in specifically. Yeah. That's nasty shit. Yeah, that, that's why I'm, I'm kind of like reluct, reluctant to address this. Like, stop dumping <laughs> your freaking noodles down there, dude. Sorry. I don't know what you're <laughs> They do say rice is one of the worst things you can put down a drain. Yeah, I Because it, it expands all. so much of that in coffee grounds. I, I, I heard, uh, is it avocado oil? It... it uh, like keeps con- it regular congels at, at room temperature. Mm-hmm. I think it's avocado oil. I shouldn't so put you, any oil down. Yeah, there. no, uh, avocado oil is liquid at, at room freaking t- room oh, So it's one of them, maybe coconut oil. I don't, I don't know. Co- one of the yeah. oils, one of the coconut oh, oil. Oh, coconut oil, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's like solid. I think that's the one that, yeah, you don't, it's, pour it's it. like it's Art. got the consistency of bacon grease, yeah. I think. So, anyway, yeah, that was my couple weeks. Yeah, here. plumbing problems, that sucks. I mean, just home problems in general kind of suck, but oh, plumbing problems. And we got this raccoon problem that I've been putting off for a decade now. <laughs> a decade? Yeah. So they're just, just the get family's getting bigger? Just get a trap. Yeah, I, I don't even... I tried to go up there once to the, the, the entrance to the attic. Oh, I went up oh there. it's in the attic? <laughs> yeah, oh, and I, I pressed the board up. Oh and a fucking God. turd just fell. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Bro. And so I just put it back. Yeah, I got to call people. You're like, <laughs> that's my candy and you ate it? You're like, mm. no, I Dude, gotta Between call raccoon them. turds and draining problems, you're like, you got a pretty nasty job yeah. right now, bro. Your house might be uninhabitable at this point. Probably. <laughs> like, no front door. <laughs> the light's upside down. Um, possessed. The cars in the front yard don't run. They're just it's sitting there. This sounds like a fucking winter. All right, what else we got? The grass Plumbing is problems. four feet tall. Yeah. All Are of you, the above. Are you sure you're not white trash? <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm the guy, you know, like every neighborhood has a guy they talk about, you know. You're that guy. Old man Wilton's house. All the kids are like, oh, don't, don't walk in front of old man Wilton's house. You know, he ate his... Tr- Eat his children or whatever. You walk out scratching oh. your ass yeah. <laughs> in your underwear? Pretty much. <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> well, if you want to call it a lawn. No, I went to the doctor recently, too. I want to get my blood levels checked yeah. and then just general checkup. Check this out. That's how much I love doctors. He's like, yeah, well, we're checking your blood. Um, do you want an <coughs> HIV test? I mean, it's not going to cut you. I'm like, it's not going to cost anything extra. I go. Why? It's like, just because. I mean, you've never like had gay. one. You look like you're gay. Because the last time you checked your prostate, there's something he needs to tell you. No, hold on. This story goes further. He's like, <laughs> so he's like, well, just because you've never had one. And I go, oh, okay. But 
I've been with the same woman for 25 years. Yeah, but you were with Magic, Magic Johnson in the 80s. Remember that? Well, no, but he's like, yeah, but, you know, it's, when a, good, you played for the Lakers. it's a good idea to check all this other stuff. Oh, all right, fine, whatever. Check for HIV. I don't care. And you're positive? No, nope, negative. <laughs> but then I turn around and I go, you know what, Doc? I think I want to check my T levels. And he's like... For what purpose? Oh, geez. And I go, because I'm gay. Because we've never checked them before. Like, <laughs> why, why, why don't we check them yeah. now? He's just like, well, I mean, are you getting any symptoms? I'm like, are you going to wait till I have a stroke before we check my cholesterol? Or, I mean, how does, why is this only one way? He wants you to tell him you're having uh, impotence problems or you have low energy. So you pick which one oh, you want. Hey, I checked testosterone. It's at 600. It's good. So. But I think what he was thinking is, I would sit here and go, oh, it's only 600. I want to be 1,000. And no, that's not it. It's just that I want to see as I age from here how my testosterone drops over what period of time. Nobody knows that because they don't check for that. Mm. So it's just like I just found it funny that he was like, oh, well, let's just get an HIV test just because. I Probably think, gets but, paid on that. Yeah, yeah. doesn't make much off. I think when he's checking your prostate, he's like, he should have asked that. Loose. He should have asked that other question first. Then he could have been like, "Oh, you're impotent. You probably don't have HIV. We don't need that <laughs> test." <either." laughs> I definitely am around other dudes, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> no, so uh, anyway, everything looked good. My cholesterol's through the roof. My freaking LDL is at two hundred. Just my LDL. Mm. I'm like, all right. yeah, you should not eat that burrito. Fuck that, dude. Dude, I'll, no, go ahead. I'll rice, exercise for a week and it'll drop. Huh? There's, there's rice in there, so that's good. Rice and that. I think the salsa had tomatoes in it, so you're good. <laughs> Everything else, Billy Rubin was high, so it's like, damn, my liver's jacked. And I haven't drank in two months. So and I'm like, it's not drink, high, yeah. high. It's mm-hmm. just a little elevated, but. That's what everybody that's about to die says. Well, but, I'm good. Well, it makes sense. If your LDL is high, your, your liver, Billy Rubin might be high. Cirrhosis. That's. LDL is But there's other reasons your for your bilirubin to be high, too. You can be dehydrated. There's all kinds of things that could be. I don't think dehydration's been a problem with me the last couple months. What color is your pee? Clear. Oh, that's. Ooh, Niss. Yeah. P- what color is your pee, Niss? Until- that's what he meant to say. <laughs> clear. Mm-hmm. clear. <laughs> At least that's what I tell my wife. I'm like, it's there. Trust me, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, but anyway. I think we I got been- some stuff to work on, but. Blood pressure, sodium, all that shit. That's not yeah. Sodium is bad. My sodium's good. I mean, so, just eating sodium's bad. I know. And I well, I eat all freaking noodle bowls, and I dude, the last couple months I have been eating plenty of processed food. It's like when I'm out hunting. It's Marie Callender's, but why do you get a Marie Callender's? And yeah, they're all right for a TV dinner. They're not bad, but you look at the sodium; it's through the roof, and oh, you yeah. still feel like you need to salt yeah. it. You're like, where the hell is the flavor? In there's it? one thing about Chipotle. Everyone thinks like Chipotle is pretty healthy, but the sodium in that thing. Is it? Oh, it's really high. Speaking of Chipotle, we're getting one down here. Did you guys notice yeah, that? Yeah, I can't wait. I was, I was going to wait out there. Is that what that new, <laughs> is that what that new building build is? Out on the inside? Uh, is that what this building is in your backyard back here? Is new Chipotle? No, it's going to be called not Chipotle. So, no sodium Chipotle. Yeah, it's something or low like, low sodium. Yeah, it's kind of like the uh, not a uh, what was it called? Fugazi shirt. This is not a Fugazi. Not t-shirt. a Fugazi t-shirt or um, not a CrossFit gym, but just make uh, CrossFit really big. Yeah. So twenty-four hour fitness, but not in a row. Yeah. <laughs> not in a row. But not in a row. They closed that twenty-four hour yeah. fitness, but. Anyway, all right, Your cool. Your LDL is 200? Yeah. yeah it's, total cholesterol is supposed to be 200. Mine's 107. Yeah. And total cholesterol is 171. You fucking pizza freak. Should be up there, man. Well, 107 is not good either. Let me do pizza next week. No, your overall cholesterol is fine. Yeah. I was just going to mention. Uh, this good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, that's all bullshit. Both yeah. LDL and HDL, well, they both have a function. So, and then... Uh, yeah, then one, one is to clog your arteries. One function is... No, <laughs> one is for healing inflammation and arterial damage and other inflammation, which is their LDL. And then your HDL is, is to carry the excess LDL back to the liver. So, 
But what, what they fail to tell you before they put you on statins is notice a lot of people with statins get Alzheimer's, dementia, things like that. Your brain is like 70% cholesterol. It's, it's, that's what it is. You need cholesterol to survive. Without cholesterol, you're not going to have life. So they sit there and they lower their, their stuff. They, they counter what their body wants to do. And they're essentially starving their brain of an essential yeah. element. That's, so that's what happened. It's also for hormone production. So testosterone levels drop too. Oh, okay, cool. That's good to know. So, so yeah, testosterone's high, cholesterol's high. <laughs> Makes sense. You know, there's a correlation between uh, hair loss and prostate cancer. You guys know that. Like basically, men that have like premature baldness. <laughs> Damn, Nick. They have there. There's a low chance of of, of getting uh, prostate cancer. Low or lower than normal? Low, yeah, lower than normal. Oh, really? Like like people that don't lose their hair, men that don't lose their hair have a higher chance. You know of why prostate. that is? The, the teeth. You know why? Because we're so sexy that women are always trying to check our prostate. So it's always empty. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, expressing a dog's gland back there. <laughs> squeezes all the bad stuff out of it. All right. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, yeah, that's science. I did ask the doctor about that, too. I'm like, so was that it? Like, or, tell me about what, like, I have friends who have had it done before. I'm at the age where they had it done. Do we got to check the prostate? He's like, no, not unless there's a reason to. I'm like, okay, well, I pee fine. Everything's fine. I'm whatever. horny. <laughs> is, that, is that a reason? <laughs> no. And all I said to him, well, that's probably more comfortable for you and for me. So thanks, Doc. So Yeah, my doctor doesn't like doing it. He always tries it. Well, we don't have to do that if you don't want. <laughs> like, yeah. I think it's a male doctor. Because uh he uh, the doctor I well used to go to, he had all these uh female doctors doing it you know just regular checkup but when i went for my physical i'm like i can i have the somebody with smaller fingers <laughs> <laughs> oh i will say also i'm no longer um pre-obese i am stage one. Oh, so because my oh, yeah. i think i'm morbidly obese. give it a couple months that's kind of sexy is, mike stage what are they one. what do they call that the b the the bmi yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, if I'm in my BMI range, like 170, dude, I will that, I will look like I have cancer. Mm -hmm. they, they would have to redo that. I mean, when I was in my, my best physical condition, I, I was uh, considered um, obese. Yeah. My being, you know, 5'7", 195. Yeah. I was considered obese. Oh, absolutely. But it was 195, a fucking muscle. Yeah, that's the whole thing. They don't count Where'd that go? muscle uh, gain. <laughs> where, where'd it go? It's all in my ass. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> no, but yeah, uh, according to the BMI chart, I would have been obese. Yeah. So I'm now uh, I am obese. <laughs> I, I I yeah. I am. Uh, granted, I could stand to lose freaking ten pounds, but that's not going to put a dent in my BMI. I couldn't float. I did not float in the water, even the even uh ocean water. So because all the muscle. Because my my huge penis. <laughs> that's like an anchor. No, Thanks but for no. the information. Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot you're here. <laughs> Just bleep that. That's not what mom was saying. <laughs> <laughs> take your take your headphones off for a minute there, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Why does mom always say you little dick motherfucker? Me, me, me. She really say that? No. Oh, okay. She's never seen it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Whose kid is that? FedEx. <laughs> oh, okay. FedEx, UPS, or USPS? Yeah. Some, no, guy that, some guy that used to do food delivery? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Was his name Troy? Her name, yeah, Swans. It's <laughs> a middle name, Swans. <laughs> <laughs> now I was going to throw in there, like, uh, I've been sick. I, like, you guys been sick the past couple weeks. Oh, I had the stomach season. bug on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, lucky you. Fuck, it sucks. Oh, yeah, we had to get out of helping with the dishes and stuff. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think shit. I'm going to throw up. 
<laughs> it was Sunday. We had Thanksgiving on that next Sunday. Oh, goodness. It sucked. Well, she brought that, this fucking respiratory shit. She brought that home. Yeah. Well, so what was it? Did you get diagnosis? I went to the doctor and he was just like, you don't have strep, you don't have COVID, you're fine. That was he should have gave you an HIV test. Yeah, next time I'll ask. That's right. <laughs> Check your process. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, doc, like, doc, I don't think I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's your prostate, okay? Are you misidentifying me? <laughs> yeah, just because I believe I believe uh, I, I belong in that kind of body means I should have all the I'm same parts, me. right? Anyway. Uh, so now are we going to go into articles? I don't of even know which Articles one. of Confederation. I thought we were going to discuss that today. <laughs> no? Um, I haven't even looked at all these articles you guys sent me. Because uh, I know you sent them to me like oh, weeks ago. Either. So it's okay. But even if you did. You're busy. You're yeah, busy. but you're reading that's classes. You're, you just started getting, taking those reading classes. and when you were, That's when you're getting your HIV checked. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't have time. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. I like this one. Americans say money can buy happiness. Here's their price tag. Um, and let me just scan how long this article is so we don't have to go. I don't have to read the whole thing. Summarize. Uh, summarize. Not, not samurai, but summarize. If we wait while you okay, read so it, I'm just going to skip down to uh, Ken, Everyone just look straight in the I'm camera. I'm trying to talk here. Shut the fucking talk. <laughs> <laughs> the findings add I'm not going to go over the I'm research not, stuff go the, over the research <laughs> Stop fucking interrupting <laughs> uh, The findings add to research about intersection of finance and happiness and may add ammunition to the debate over whether money can buy uh, contentment Earlier this year Nobel Prize winning economist well, First of all happiness and contentment are not the same thing but they do correlate, though, because if you're content, sure. you can be happy. All right, let's just skip to this. Can money buy happiness? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> How so? Um, let's just say, like, you really wanted this really expensive car or something. You're like, yeah, really want this. It'll make me feel happier. You buy it. I don't know. You could be happy for, like, a moment, and that counts as buying happiness in my eyes. Then the car breaks and then you got to pay that bill to fix that really expensive car. Yeah. Like Lamborghinis aren't cheap to fix. But you were happy for like a moment. So like. So money can buy, buy happiness. Yeah. Nick? That's weird because that's more than she's ever been. One moment is can, more than can, she's ever been. Can happy. money buy happiness, Nick? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, Come yeah, on, it's, dude. It's, it's one uh, side of this. Yes or no? Jesus Christ. Just remember <laughs> just remember when we showed up when Mike was showing you his giant garage set up back and how much he was smiling. <laughs> All right. We'll skip you. Yes, we'll come. yes, yes, yes sure, it can. Why not? Why not? Can money buy happiness? Uh, I think so. Al? Yeah. I think it takes away some of your worries, which allows you to be happy. I mean, yeah. If you look at the extreme, right? If you're homeless and you, you don't have food, I mean, you're miserable. You're not happy. But with money... You don't have to be homeless. I don't know, man. Yeah. Some of the biggest acts of compassion come from homeless people. People just walking up and say, "Hey, can you help me out?" Well, and they'll give them, give you the well, last not, two dollars in their pocket. Not compassion, but I'm I'm seeing if you're homeless, like right now, out in the fucking cold, you'll be you're miserable. Yeah, but if you have a roof over your head, you know, not like a mansion, but, but can I you mean, be uncomfortable money, and be happy at the same time? Yeah, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, happily married but uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's because you guys are sleeping on a twin. No, but I mean, <laughs> like, it, like, so money's not everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, it but is. But I can say, like, <laughs> haven't you seen the way the world is set up? Well, okay, so money is everything. No, <laughs> no, it's not everything, but it's a necessity I, I, to live. I can correlate happiness with having money. Like money, having money, I can see like things would be more positive in your life. Right. Have you seen the type of women that really rich guys get? What would you do with a million bucks? Yeah, I'm sure that's a really deep seated relationship. Yeah. Uh, who cares? He's happy. I'm not looking for a deep seated one now. <laughs> He's happy. She's happy. Oh, you're looking for a woman to chase after you for your money, then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she's hot. That's whatever. Whatever she's looking for. A hot chick would make me. 
happy. So you just like. I'll tell you what I would do. Two chicks at the same exactly time, man. Same. <laughs> exactly. That's where I was going. I say it buys happiness because then this is how I tell people. If I gave you a million dollars right now, would you be happy? And they go, oh, yeah. I said, okay, there you go. Money does buy happiness. What money doesn't buy and people conflate the two is money doesn't buy joy. Joy is oh, a I bought her. Dip- Huh? I bought her with my money. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you missed the other article where some guy stole a $250 mega masturbator. So, <laughs> mega if, masturbator. I had, <laughs> if I had $250. You have five of them? I, I would, I would need to go anyway. steal the mini masturbator myself. So. <laughs> I'll have to check this out later. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I didn't see all the articles. Yeah, well, we could talk about that but one later. They these correlate. Articles, I these articles several, are like uh, freaking, they're like a 5,000 word essay. I, I think I there's several masturbation articles in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I saw the one about money and buying happiness. So the, that's a pretty good question. So, so how much, of, how much money? A lot of people say money can't buy happiness, and I think we're all in consensus that it can. Like, like okay, so here's a situation. Your loved one, significant other, children, parents, whoever, fucking terminally ill, costs a million dollars to cure, or every single penny you have to cure that, would you give every single penny away to, for, for the cure? Yep. Depends, yeah. depends if they piss me off. And that just bought me happiness. Though. Yeah. Okay. The, um, but, but then you, you're happy, but you have no money now. So, like, the, <laughs> you know, you can be happy about it, uh, uh, the outcome of it, but sure. you're broke. You know who's going right? to be really unhappy? My child, when I'm constantly reminding them of how I had to spend all my goddamn money on them to secure them. Yeah, you would have been a millionaire like 10 times over by now. Yeah. Damn kids. So I, I'm curious, how much money, and let's go the minimum amount, not max, because unlimited money, obviously, would you need to have or would you need to make on an annual basis to be happy? I'm happy. I'm happy with what I make now. I mean, Thirty five thousand dollars a year makes you happy. Thirty five five, okay. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're rich. No, I mean, I can always I take more take, money, but I'm at I thirty. I'm 32. in a situation where I really don't have to worry about it. Like, no, it's. I think Al and I are. I'm. I'm thinking what Al's thinking. The same thing with me is where I don't have to worry about are the bills going to get paid? No, the yeah. bills are going to get paid. Yeah. Then they can fuck with the price of energy and stuff is it is it great that that my energy bills goes up or and things like that because of inflation and all grocery bills and everything else no but is it manageable with the income i have yes so i i, I think it's i like, will say i'm comfortable would i like to make more absolutely so but i you know i i could budget a lot better but i'm at the point where i don't have to check my balance Every fucking second to make sure everything's correct. Right, you got. <laughs> so there, there's a time where like I had to check my balance every fucking day. Yeah, yeah. Or you have to I, before I go spend a dollar. Or you, you have know. to say you're sitting there doing your bills and you divvy it up with like uh, these ones can wait until next paycheck. Do I have to pay my cable bill this year or? No, it's more like, <laughs> well, they'll the energy bill can wait because they'll send me a warning before I, you know. Yeah. And you're in that mode. That does suck, but is that it's at the point where is I, I say I'm comfortable because I can put something in retirement. I can put something in investments. I can put something in savings, and I can still pay all my bills and have a little left over to spend. Yeah. So I'm I'm am I comfortable? Yeah. Would I like to make more? Yeah, because then I could put more in retirement, more in investments, more in you know. So you're happy with your money. I'm comfortable. Comfortable. I, You're happy you didn't get HIV from that gay you guy. Just, <laughs> like money is like coupons, right? So yeah. the more the more coupons you have, the more shit you can do. Yeah, <laughs> the more freedom you have, right? Yeah. So, you know, that's why you don't want to spend all your money at, a, at one time. You got to like put some in for the future. Or don't put it all in savings either because it's losing value by the yeah. day with the way our inflation rates are. CDs. So, Actually, CDs are pretty decent right now. But, you well, know, or the next best big stock. You know, whatever Nancy Pelosi's investing in, yeah. invest in that. I wish we fucking knew what that would be. Uh, Hammers, I think. Somebody <laughs> said there's a website where you can look at what the Pelosi Yeah, there's are. a couple of yeah. them. There's some apps. You, you, you can follow senators. 
So I think you're yeah. pretty good if you buy TSMC. So Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of have we kind of know what's going on in some uh, you know. It's called other. insider trading, sir. Well, no, no, I would any, never if, ever if, ever partake no, in not if it's public knowledge. Yeah, it's public knowledge, but we uh, you know in the, in the high tech industry, we kind of know what's going on. How come you never tell me? <laughs> <laughs> my portfolio is in the shit. I'm trying to catch up to you. I'm, I'm trying to get my Tesla <laughs> and my ranch. Well, with that said, I will say with my investments and ever since <laughs> A certain someone took over the Oval Office and the stock market's gone haywire. I've I've lost a, what would be normally an uncomfortable amount. So I'm 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 on the roller coaster ride now, so I can't jump fuck, off. Fuck I gotta ride it up. Trump. Well hopefully you're putting money in. Yeah, right no, now. I don't think it's Trump, buddy. Huh? Hopefully you're putting money in right now. Well now, yeah, that's the thing. If you have money, now's the time to put it in. I, I up my uh four oh one K contribution. To two percent? You doing two percent now? Two two. Yeah, I can get up to 6%, then the company will match. It's $700 a year. I was going to have to take a few more decades. Yeah, they're like, if that. you put in, if you max out your your 21500 whatever it is, if you max that out, we will give you 1.5% of that. Oh, wait, we can't because you just maxed out your freaking 401k. I heard that doesn't count against you, though. But yeah. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't? Sure. Yeah, Probably I, doesn't. I had then. to look into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People's been telling me. Uh, well, so I, Al's I, old enough now; he can do the catch-up thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah, true. Because you know, Asians don't raise it. He's gotta, actually <laughs> sixty-two years old. I got another another year for that. That oh. I, yeah, oh. I can add more, but yeah. Oh, I, I thought you were old. way older. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I'm like these Asian guys work until they're dead. This guy's never going to retire. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Something. No, but when it comes to money, I think a lot of it that does have to do with, okay, can I comfortably afford my expenses, my lifestyle, and am I living below my means at the same time? And if you can do that, then that's a comfortable spot to be. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I'm like, hey, I just, I, you know, family meeting. I, I'm <laughs> contributing more to my 401k, so we got to stop eating out. Did we stop eating out? No. no. Then you're like, Dad's contributing more. Can we go out to eat to, uh, to celebrate? <laughs> like, family yes. meeting. Allie's like two. Family meeting. Uh, we can't have Christmas this year. Dad's broke. Well, what does that have to do with Santa Claus? Well, there is no Santa Claus. Is that how what? that conversation went? <laughs> You know, that's the really good thing about Ali's real dad being a FedEx guy. He can just bring packages <laughs> that you don't even know who they belong to. You don't know what they off. are. They just yeah. show up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, so the answer to the question is yes, money can buy happiness. Okay. In my opinion. Comment below if you disagree. Yeah, exactly. It, it money to can, an extent can keep you happy. There's other factors that can no, keep cause, you. No, well, happiness is fleeting because you can yeah. you can win a million dollars today, let's say your take home's a million, and then you can get hit by a bus the next day, and you're like shit. Oh, you know that you're gonna uh, be sad. Years ago, so the the progressive jackpot in Vegas, the the first winner. Uh, this 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 woman won. I I am not sure what the jackpot was. Twelve million or something. This is back in the nineties. So twelve million. The nineteen nineties. The, the eighteen. <laughs> so they had lotto uh, back then. I, I, wow. I'm not sure what the jackpot, but some reason I'm thinking like somewhere around ten or twelve million, which back then was a lot more than what it is now. A, a year later, after winning that, she got into a car accident and is a quadriplegic. And then she had to use all that to yeah, regain you know, the feeling in her limbs. Best, best part about that is, because I'm learning that with my old man, any money he has go, going towards his care when mm -hmm. he goes into the home. Yeah. So if you have money, so you, you make can, some memories with it because they'll take it unless you have well, it protected in the right way. Well, plan mm -hmm. for the future because what if you didn't have any money and this shit Well, happened? I mean, Medicaid is going to pick it up, but they recoup whatever they spend. If you have yeah. any funds... So we're going through that whole thing right now with my grandmother. She's still alive. Does he have a house? Trying to get her to change the will in that because does he have a house? If he inherits it while he's in there, they'll take that oh, as assets yeah, and re yeah. and he's going to be quite expensive to take care of. So yeah, yeah. Make sure he doesn't have a house. He doesn't own much. Yeah. Well, this is why you're doing the power of attorney shit because he can yeah. send. You can write it all off to you. No, you can't. There's a five year look back. 
So even on the website, even if you, the, one of their examples was, even if you give a graduation present to a grandchild of like $500 within the five-year look back, they will try to recoup that. Mm. Oh, shit. Anything that you don't get equal value for, they'll say that could have been money to pay for your care. Or they'll make you ineligible until it's paid back. I that love the way own. the government works. So you self-pay mm. basically until you run out of money. And since, then. since I was 18, uh, my parents just on paper, I had to sign this piece of paper. They were giving me ten grand a year from their estate. Personal expenses or personal. I mean, I, I never got mm-hmm. it, of course, but it's just on paper. They were giving me ten grand a year just so that when they're when they're dead, all the money's somewhere else now. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, I mean, it's not for me, but it's just somewhere else. Right? <laughs> it's, it's for their, it's for their love child, my dad's love child, yeah. <laughs> or love children. Love yes. children. He yeah, happens yeah. to drive a FedEx truck. <laughs> yeah, he, that's why Allie looks like you so much. She's your niece. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I don't know the details about that. My dad just just, just sign it, dumbass. So I just sign. <laughs> Stop asking questions. Just sign it. Your dad was Red Foreman. Don't ask that question. <laughs> Basically, yeah. The Asian Red Foreman. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask dumb question. <laughs> I put foot in ass. Basically. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we'll move on here. Um, all right. Watch a China hospital. Came up with an automatic sperm extracting machine, and it's bizarre. This is similar to Sending cow this. cow milking. I'm feeling like they didn't invent anything. I yeah, similar to cow milking. That's funny. It's just a glory hole. Can we get one of those at home? <laughs> <laughs> Can oh I can't. God, God the pop ups. How does that goodness. compare to the two hundred fifty dollar uh, mega masturbator? Oh my God, these <laughs> things are awesome. They just look like waist high garbage cans. <laughs> It's a With glory a hole. hole. There's just like a glory hole on them. It's a glory hole. It's a penis here. Al, <laughs> you're going to have to put this picture up here. Yeah. Here. It, 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 it's actually, there's a video of it I saw. And I actually, um, <laughs> I, I need more information. I want to know who makes it and how much. That's what I want to know. Are they still testing? I'll be a, I'll be a tester. <laughs> oh. Beta. You get for the beta program. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a fucking... Glory hole. Yeah, you, you've had a you had a vasectomy for years now, so <laughs> you're not going to extract any sperm out of there. It's a robotic, <laughs> robotic. Uh, yeah, it just looks like a rubber. T- it just looks like a tug machine. Is there a video of how it works? <laughs> <laughs> the inside of the machine. It's called it's called the Tugmaster Five Thousand. It, it's supposed to feel real. Like it's it's warm and lubricated. It feels like the real thing, supposedly. To make uh-huh. things easy for people who don't want to actually jerk off. No. To make things easier for people who find it awkward to masturbate for sperm donations. <laughs> a stick, Chinese And you stick your dick in a fucking robot. Okay, yeah. this is this is a lot more comfortable. <laughs> I, I don't feel so awkward now. As you watch oh, as you watch video. the guy before you walk shit. out of the same room. <laughs> so yeah, a Chinese <laughs> hospital has come up with an automatic sperm extra- extractor technology. <laughs> According to this website, the effortless machine features a massage pipe. I guess that's what they call. So they don't call it the happy hole, the glory hole. It's basically what it is. The it's a love, pipe that goes in and out. They don't. They it don't looks call like it one of those banana lo- cleaners. The love tunnel. So I'll, I'll so love to you. It features a love tunnel that can be adjusted <laughs> to right suit there. the height of the user. <laughs> He's like, yeah, uh, just go in that room and master. I'm too embarrassed. Well, okay. It was <laughs> Stand in no, this fucking geez. robot. It comes out. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's, all, it's a lot better. It says awkward, not embarrassed. But here, in case you, uh, it also is fitted with a small screen for those who feel uninspired. Mm. So, <laughs> so you can watch like SpongeBob. So if you don't feel the inspiration. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, the person using it has to manually adjust frequency, amplitude, and temperature ah. before starting the process. Well, how does he know if it's right without the stick? That's what the foreplay part of 11. it is. Does it go to 11? <laughs> of course. <laughs> relax. Relax. <laughs> does it tell you good stuff along the way? Like, oh, you're so big. Oh. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Oh, you're the best I've ever had. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it does. <laughs> you. <laughs> it seems like scientists have gone a tad too far with this machine. According to the IFL science, the urology department of the hospital stated that the device has been tailor-made for individuals who find the old-fashioned way embarrassing. The weird invention obviously left people amused. Here's how they reacted. So, anyway, oh my there's goodness. a video attached to this. It's on Twitter. Um, or I'm sorry, X, formerly known as Twitter. Um, and, yeah, there's just there's a lot of reaction videos on there. No, you're perfect. The big ones hurt. <laughs> It's a nice size. Um, well, what what did some of the people say that tried it out? Right? Do you want to play I'm video? It's, it it's in China. It's what are you Chinese. saying? What did you say? I Nick? mean, first of all, how is it embarrassed? It's like, oh, there's a Chinese guy jerking off. What do you look like? I'm just a curious Chinese about the cleaning guy. process like, between goes. Like, right. you one guy out, one guy in. I mean, yeah. Did they did they hot swap these things? Is it got That's like a, a condom question. system that it uses or something? It's probably got a catch bag or something. This is for. I think sperm. we need to take a field trip. This is a sperm donation, right? Yeah, sperm donor. Yeah, so but I, I mean, I'm guessing they have like a, a fucking condom on there. I'm guessing somebody's got to collect this shit. So they oh, just you got the vacuum button <laughs> after when you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what if you're attracted to vacuums? That's so hot. <laughs> Go to the reservoir. I would have that vacuum button on while I'm. <laughs> Right, right. You got a pink sock for a <laughs> penis. Um. Oh, doctor, I too embarrassed. Right. <laughs> give, give me a robot. Give me a robot, dude. You're in a room with a television and whatever porn you want to watch. What are you I, embarrassed I, I of? Oh, it's so embarrassed. I want the awkward it robot. It probably rolls out like Rosie the robot from the Jetsons. <laughs> Making all this fucking noise. <laughs> The whole, the whole fucking hospital can hear you. <laughs> oh, much better. Not embarrassed at all. Not embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Not embarrassed. Oh, much better. Yeah. I just have flashbacks to Revenge of the Nerds. Even worse. It's like the robot from Buck Rogers or something. Beady, beady, beady. Beady. Beady, beady, beady. <laughs> I'm gonna <Yeah>. kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Uh, Bruh. Yeah. All right. Well, okay, like Joan, I, won't, I won't take the robot. Like Joan yeah. Rivers from Spaceballs <laughs> coming out. <laughs> well, you could put a strap on on and still enjoy this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, if you like robots, that is. Otherwise. You know, <laughs> oh yeah, and you're in there yelling, "Take it, take it!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this oh is a. Uh, <sighs> it's an interesting concept, but yeah, I'm with you. Like, where is this located? Like, I think we need to do another field trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing, too. Go home and do your old lady, because in China, just up the rate of number of children they can have is three now, where it was previously yeah, one. Yeah, the population shrinking. So now, for the first time, and they're getting ready for war. God for yeah. I think I think I just came up with a good idea for the gun buyback, though. What? You get one of those. Hmm. One of these robots in trade. Yeah, I think people would do it. Oh, there'll be somebody who does it. I might go buy oh, guns just to go sell them. <laughs> just go trade them in. <laughs> what are you doing with all these guns? Saving up for a robot? <laughs> I get you don't understand. I get embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh shit. Well, we're, I don't know where we're at. We're probably close to the uh, forty-five minute mark or forty. Where we're we're over. We're, we're probably about fifty. Yeah, because I didn't 55. start my timer in time. We're about 55 minutes or so. All right. Well, you want to call it? We can do that. All well, right, folks. Sorry, a little rusty here. All right, Greg. We'll do better next time. I promise. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Go ahead and close her out. Huh? I wasn't even recording. You freaking liar. Good night, guys. Loving you. Thanks for showing up. We'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for all our latest content. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Good night, Greg. Good night, Greg.
grace. You ever seen this I movie, Allie? What? I love this movie. What kind of kid have you raised? Has never I seen love seven. Deprived. Yeah, Vince, Vince Vaughn's like my favorite. Oh, he's actor. funny as hell. Yeah, yeah, Vince Vaughn. Is we don't have internet or cable at our house or DVD. But well, you have remote controls we, covered in plastic. We have Beta, Beta Max. <laughs> That's it. I don't think they play <laughs> a lot on if that. If it's on Beta Max, then Allie was. Just all right, so the name of the movie is called Four Christmases. We watch it every year because it's freaking hilarious. Yeah. So. I can't wait till I can watch it with the kids. So uh, this is what white people not do. quite yet. Not oh, the girls. No, they're because they're they're starting to get to that age now where they question things. I don't want to put any ideas. So you know, like our tradition, we we'll, like do make mochi and all that. The white people watch this. <laughs> the white people. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get you, you know, cultures, see all the cultures and <laughs> the white people. <laughs> That's so cool. God, that must suck. It's like, like, what do you get for Christmas? Ooh, a brand new pair of chopsticks. Abacus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, new thongs? Oh, great. I got a silver abacus. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve every bit of it, honey. <laughs> Keep up the good math work. <laughs> hey, slide rule. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Then, then you have someone like me comes in and tries to culturally appropriate. Give her a calculator. What the fuck is this? You give my daughter a calculator? <laughs> this is not HP 42S. <laughs> we only use HP 42S. I got it. No, I, I know what you're saying, and I agree. I've been I've been suggesting that all along. Oh, you have it. <laughs> well, we should have a host. Yeah, I have. All the time. I feel like this is how you take credit at work too for a <laughs> Are we recording yet? Oh, we gotta stop making fun of Asians now? <laughs> What's your suggestion? <laughs> yeah. What was your suggestion? To uh, have a host with the, the show notes to keep the shit on track. If you host, you can't do what would you rather do? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I know. It's really all the fine. Time. It's fine. Fine, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Who's bringing us in? Yeah. So I gotta fucking do everything around here, guys. Who's bringing us in? Do it. Five, four, three.